Salutations wet shaver Spencer here back for another shave video. I'm able to do another one this time. It's good um, Had to get a new phone case because without the phone case it actually doesn't stick to my mirror mount Which I have which sucked so I've got the new case So that's why I've been able to do videos again. I have also ordered a new phone. I've got the Google Pixel 3a I really like the look of the three A's they are a lot cheaper than the threes and I know the fours just coming out but I uh, I can claim everything on work that I'm doing now, and I, I, I don't use it too much. All I really want is a really nice camera, and this one seems really good. The video seems pretty good, but the photos seem incredible, so it should make some pretty cool shots of um, new shaving gear and whatnot, so I'm really, really excited for that. That should be cool. Anyway, today is going to be an awesome video because I've used this product before, and I know it is almost the best in its price range, if not the best, and that is the Frank Shaving Synthetic. This thing is incredible, mm -hmm. not just for the price, but in general. Mm -hmm. In general, this is such an incredible brush and competes with every other synthetic I've got. I think it's only beaten, in my opinion, by maybe two or three other synthetics, which would be like the Plasson, I really like that. The Mueller STF, which, where did I put that? Um, I'll put it somewhere. Anyway, I'll, I'll do a comparison video because this is what it, they were trying to closely replicate mm -hmm. with their own tweaks. Man, I am getting so many messages. I'm sorry if you can hear those. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I didn't know that did that. My bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to touch anything. Where was I? Yes, so they tried to sort of replicate the Mueller STF. Now, I'm not sure whether they tried to replicate version 1 or version 2. I've only got version 2. Version 1 is basically the holy grail for synthetic brush users. Um, people that are really into their synthetics always talk about that being like the god synthetic. And um, even from version 2, I am in love. It's an incredible, incredible brush. And it is the brush that has made me use synthetics for pretty much a month now. I haven't used a natural hairbrush in a month. <laughs> um, which is just crazy because I'm all about natural hairbrushes. I absolutely love them. And I still will use them and almost tried to force myself today, but I just wanted to do a video on this. This was, I think, $30. And I think the postage was free or something. I can't can't remember. Maybe that was... No, that was this brush. Yeah, I think it was $30 free postage, which is incredible. Um, I haven't gotten anything like that for such good value. Um, so... Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. Gonna have a shave with it. I thought it was 24 mil, and I got it, and it's 28. So it's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> so that was a good surprise. So for 28 mil, it's 30 bucks. It's got a basic ivory handle, nothing to show off, but nice shape, um, really nice build quality. But yeah, like I said, there's a glue bump up here, but you can't feel it on the face. Um, it's, it's my only gripe because I don't like glue bumps, I can't stand them. Um, but I can feel that there, but I cannot feel it when I'm splaying it on my face. I've had a brush, I can't remember what it was, but whenever I splayed it, all I felt was this big hard lump just scratching on my face and it was gross. <laughs> I did not like it at all, I had to throw that brush away just because it wasn't made well, so I just threw it away. Um, wasn't going to sell it to people because if it doesn't work properly, why would I sell it? So, this brush, I'll double check in this shave, but last time I used it, I didn't feel that glue bump. Alright, I've just had a shower, so face should be alright, but I'm going to put some hot water on the face again anyway. Now, what am I going to use today? I am going to use, obviously, the Frank Shaving Brush. I'm going to use the Razorine. I've been using this for ages. Um, this has a Gillette Super Stainless in here, and that Gillette Super Stainless, one of these, is on its eighth shave, maybe? It's had quite a few shaves, and it still just feels pretty much the same. Now for me, uh, I've still got the same feeling with Gillette blades other than the Super Stainless and the Yellows. They're both the 7 o'clock series. With every other Gillette, they don't feel sharp enough to me. 
whenever I use them, I just feel like they have too much resistance on my face. Even, you know, on the second shave after you take the coating off, um, it, it still doesn't shave that well for me. Um, the treat, these treat platinums are probably the most consistent for me. They are incredibly sharp, incredibly smooth, and they stay that way until they're dead. Um, they, they don't, you know, like Vosh gods, which is quite interesting. There was a um, article done where it said the Vosh gods were actually very consistent in use, but that is not the case for me at all. The first few passes, yeah, they, they were pretty rough, but generally the whole shave, first shave didn't feel great. Second and third felt all right. Um, but yeah, on the, on the chart, it looks like it's consistent over the four shaves. Um, I guess it's taken into account at the end of the first shave, which it's, it takes that coat off. That's when it's, it stays consistent. I don't know. Either way, that is incredible. And the Bic Chrome Platinums, they are my favorite. They're my two favorites. They're awesome. Anyway, I, I'm rambling once again. It's six minutes. I'm doing a Leroy. <laughs> How you doing, mate? Face Fat Lavender. I really want to try and challenge myself to just use one soap until it dies. And I saw Chris at an... I've been wanting to do this. And then I saw Chris at another cut above. And he'd finished his Jaffa. First ever tub he's ever finished. And I went, oh my god. Oh, I really want to try finish a tub. And I've been using this maybe five, six times a week out of the seven days of shaving. I always pick this up. Um, I still haven't really made much of a dent in it. So it just shows how much Chris has damn used it. Um... So we're going to give this a whirl. Aftershave also has been a very consistent thing that I've been doing lately too. Stray Whisker Afterbalm, absolutely beautiful. I really, really like that. Bundaberg Rum, no, it's not Bundaberg Rum. What is it? Sailor Jerry is on sale. Just straight up, I don't, I don't mind adding like coke to it, but generally I'll just have my spirits straight. All right, fairly wet brush. I need even a little bit more water than that. The bristles on here are really soft, which generally I don't dig, but the face feel is different. It's almost like the tips are soft. And, um, oh, another thing as well, there was just one shed hair here. Um, on my first shave, I think I lost three hairs. So hopefully it's not a massive shedder. We'll see, because that would drop it down. But so far, for the money, still the best for 28 mil, <laughs> 30 bucks. Oh, I forgot to put the cube on. I've been using the cube every shave as well. I just forgot to take it out. I just started the video instead of taking it out. Uh, that's annoying. Oh. And I really feel like that's been improving my shades as well. I really like that. It's been starting to change my opinion on pre-shaves. I never ever use pre-shave. Um, but I've been using that lately and it's been really good. Um, can feel the residual slickness after the first, second, and sometimes even the third pass. So it, it is really good. I did not need to load like this at all. I thought with the 28mm I'd maybe need a little bit more of a heavier load, but clearly not. Alright. That's the lather done. Now this lather is absolutely dense, creamy, absolutely beautiful. And it looks like my phone's about to fall off. Man, it's been annoying trying to find a solid, stable, reliable setup with my phone. So hopefully because my next phone is smaller and lighter, hopefully it stays on there tight and doesn't move. Tweet. All right. The wonderful Razorine. I really, really like this. I've seen the Razor Rock Switch come out. Um, you guys that have used it, let me know what you guys think. If you've used the Razorine as well, I really want to know the, um, your opinion. To me, I will still always prefer the look of the Razorine, but um, yeah, I'm just not a mm -hmm. fan of the industrial look. It looks all right, but... Mm -hmm. It's 
blade's starting to feel not dull, which is weird. It's not dull, it's rough. I'll check the blade alignment in a second just to see if it's moved. Yeah, see, it feels fine there. It's just going over the first pass. It just judders a little bit too much. Look at that blade alignment. Looks all right. Hmm. Don't know. Looks all right to me. All right, keep going. Yeah, the first pass, it was the same with the Nasset. The first pass wasn't really that comfortable at all. But after you wipe down the excess hair, that's when it feels all right. That's not okay with me. <laughs> I want it to be uh, good right from the get-go. Now, obviously, your mile uh, mileage may vary. I know the Nasset is a huge favorite for a lot of people. So, as always... Not just with blades, but with everything. Don't use these reviews as, you know, your um, final decision whether you buy it or not. Obviously, if, you know, you watch like six videos and like five people say it's bad, then maybe, maybe it's bad. But I research most of my products. That's why I don't find... That's why I don't use a lot of bad products, just because I research what I buy first. So I know people always say, you know, I'm too positive on things, but whenever something shit, shit, you know, like I had that cheap Chinese razor, I said it was bad. I didn't like it. These Gillette blades on the first pass, I don't like them. <laughs> See, so yeah, I'll bin this one. But yeah, I'm really actually embracing the mass market of the brushes. I, I know I shouldn't be, but it's because I've found myself uh, recently in a financial pre um, predicament. Just job stuff. It's getting all sorted now, but um, yeah, basically money was really tight. <laughs> really tight. So it's been better now, a lot better. Just because we just booked this trip to bloody Thailand and then all this stuff went down. So, work-wise, so, got a new job doing cement flooring and it's actually really fun. Hard work, really hard work, but it's quite fun. Really rewarding too, a lot more rewarding, yeah. All right, residual slickness. <laughs> yeah, for the past week with the cube and stuff, I keep going, yeah, this cube. Really, it really does a lot. And it does. Uh, I'll say it still helps. But pff, for a vegan soap base, Craig, <laughs> you're ripping people off with that price point, buddy. Ripping people off. <laughs> yeah, there's a nice natural feel when you splay the brush. It's really nice. Not as natural as, say, a Plasson or a Boss knot. Man, I miss those boss knots. I had one of those. I think I sent it off to Kai, that damn Rob one. Not sure what he's done with it. He's probably sold it or something because it's a synthetic. <laughs> Basically, if it's not a declaration knot, it's not good enough for Kai's den. <laughs> or a um, Milton tip knot. I, I know he really likes those as well. A little bit more rum. All right. It's 
pretty good. Still cuts a little bit rough. Wasn't this bad in my last few shaves. It had been quite good actually. Um, still, you know, noticeable on that, um, that that first pass, but those issues are just sort of getting magnified as time goes on. Need to be a little bit more gentle on my neck. I, I, my face wasn't used to that rocker, and I just went to town on my face, man. Um, in the last video. Plus, I was just really excited doing a video. So. I think I went a little bit too over the top. I'm used to using the razor ring, which is quite mild. Efficient, like really efficient, but mild. Man, all this outdoors winter stuff in the mornings really giving me some lip burn. Oh, I hate that. Such a pain. Oh, yeah, awesome. Might skip the alum today. Every shave I've been using alum. That looks like a cut there. Looks like I'm bleeding, but yeah, that's just literally from, <laughs> unfortunately, the rocker, <laughs> you know, me saying that it's my favorite razor and all, uh, didn't respect it. <laughs> that was an issue. Plus using a really sharp blade and probably on one day's growth, two days growth it was, I think. Yeah, maybe not the smartest idea. Rinsed off the soap. I mean, face fat's really good. It, do, it doesn't leave my face like really slippery, but it's just enough. So when you're doing buffing passes, you know, it, you've got all the buffing passes you need to um, get rid of all of the hair, but when you wash it off, it's not like a, oh, for God's sake, like it just won't come off. I've had a couple of those. They're the really, really slick soaps. And sometimes, when you just want to shave, sometimes it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. I know it sounds weird, but sometimes that slickness is a pain in the butt. <laughs> but face fat, absolutely perfect. I want to try and stick to keep using that. I'm really annoying that way. Sometimes I just always keep switching stuff. I can't stick to one, um, one setup. I'm really, really bad at that. I remember I tried it last year sometime and I failed miserably. I think that was only just using one brush too. Uh, I think I meant to use the Paladin. And I think there was still a couple of days where I just didn't use the Paladin just because I'm me. <laughs> anyway, Frank shaving. This brush is absolutely incredible for the price. I think it's amazing. I think it's, I think it's amazing. Um, absolute bargain. Um, really, really worth the price. It really is. I mean, it's worth more than what they're charging. And I, I think it's a really good honest brush. I know it's mass produced and I know that turns a lot of people off, but just buy one and see how you go. Um, even buy the 24 mil one. This uh, this 28 is really good, but preferably I'd, pref no, I'd rather get a 24 mil. I just prefer those sizes. So check out Frank Shaving, check out Face Fat, Absolutely incredible stuff made in Western Australia in Australia The wonderful razorine handmade in Italy Absolutely incredible Absolutely awesome. I, I love using this razor. I've been using it so often more often than any other razor Now lastly for the aftershave Oh the balm Stray whisker after balm only need the smallest little bit. I know most people say almond size, but I think for this balm, 
You don't even need that. It's unscented. No fragrance. Just skin food ingredients, which I really like. And it dries on so perfectly. Absolutely incredible. S very quickly becoming one of my favorite aftershaves. I do love the burn, but just doing so much research on aftershaves is just making me turn to, you know, these sort of balms and the alcohol free lotions and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's been a real eye opener. I really enjoy it. Try giving it a go. Um, I want to try stick with this until the tube runs out. I mean, I've already used quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of it. I've already used up to there, so I've got like a third left. Then I'll be buying the big old jug of it. <laughs> you can get like a 250 ml jug, which is awesome. So I'll be buying that. Um, what else was that? Everything face fit, straight whisker afterburn, frank shaving, razorine. That's everything. <laughs> you guys take care, stay safe, make sure you guys keep positive, keep smiling. You're going through rough times. Just keep pushing, you'll get through it. Uh, talk to your friends, keep open with your friends. <laughs> Don't bottle it up, it'll come out in anger, which is not nice. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.